Hi, my name is Victoria, and today I'm going to be doing a look on some burnt orange look that I had a picture of on Instagram. It was a photo of me and like my makeup a really long time ago, and somebody, oh my cat, requested to um for me <laughs> make a tutorial on it. So I'm going to be doing that, and I apologize if it's not like super identical to the picture because I did come home from school and I have a face of like foundation and blush and I had like purple under my eyes so um, I took off as much as I kind of can without um ruining like my foundation and concealer but I'm gonna try to do over it which I think would work because the colors I'm gonna be applying are much darker so yeah and also I am sorry if my cat tries like jumping on me because she kind of does that whenever I, I like record I don't know why but she does and that's about it okay so I'm gonna try to recreate this look and basically it was just an orange burnt look with um, black liner so basically the outside of my um, eyes were just super dark orange and then the insides and um, outer rim of my eye was um, black and that's really it and I'm pretty sure the colors I used for the orange were the NYX um, single shadow and blame it on midnight which is this color as like the main eyeshadow color um, I may have blended max brown script with it I don't really remember exactly what the eyeshadow colors were but like I know how to redo the look if that makes sense like I know what colors to do I just don't know exactly what I did <clears throat> But for Christmas, I got the Stila palette, and this one is the Eyes Are the Widow Shadow Palette in Mind. And this palette would be best to do the look because the look I was going for, or the color I wanted, was an orange like this. And that's what I tried to recreate with this lighter orange shadow from NYX, and it's called Blame It on Midnight. Wait, yeah, Blame It on Midnight. So I think it'd be best if I ended up using the Stila one because this is the look I was going for. And it's basically what I achieved, only I had to use more product with the NYX color because um it um this one's lighter and I wanted it dark. But oh and also there's a black in here which would come in handy and like a bunch of like the oranges and stuff that you would need to create the look which would be better just in one palette rather than using this shadow and then another one from MAC and whatever but I'm just gonna go ahead and create the look with the Stila one because it's just one palette if people do want this one but if you were looking for a cheaper orange I would get NYX um, nude matte shadow and blame it on midnight because the shadow is cheaper and I've been looking for a burnt orange eyeshadow for a really long time, and this is the closest I could come for a cheap one. That's why I ended up getting the palette, because it had the one color I was looking for. So yeah. Okay. So like I said in the introduction, I have um, eyeshadow on my eyes already. So I'm going to be going over that. Okay. So the first color I'm going to start out with is the color Wit out of this palette, and I am using... The MAC 217 SE brush, which is just a blending brush. And this color is more of like caramelized, nudie pink. And I'm going to just apply that all in my crease. Just to um, have this as like a first um, color to start out with the orange. Okay, and then next what I'm going to do is take the color Perception, and it is the orange. And what I'm going to do is probably just take a little bit and then gradually just keep adding more and more and more until I get however much orange I want. I'm going to go pretty heavy with it and just really blow my eye. So... Just put this in your crease 
all the way um, to the inner of your eye and just blend upwards. I would say the main key for this to create this look is just blending it. But what I don't want it, I kind of want it to like um, fade ah, even lighter. She's attacking me, I'm telling you. No pearl. So I would just, every time I apply it, I would apply it just in the crease of my eye so that I don't apply the heavy product like right here. And it wouldn't be just like, so it's not orange just right there. So every time just start in your crease and blend upwards so it blends out nice and evenly. Um, everyone's eye shape is obviously different. Um, my crease area is pretty big so I could go really high with um, my eyeshadow. Like I, br I could bring it up really high but everyone is really, is obviously different on how they like their makeup. So for this look I like it to be really like out there so I bring mine almost <laughs> all the way up to my brow bone and um, outwards toward um, the end of my eyebrow and then I'm gonna bring it down onto my eyelid and kind of just blend whatever product you have left down Okay. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and yeah. Okay. So I just got done um, putting the orange in my crease and it looks like that. So it's very, very bright. I don't know if um, some people are going to like like it this dramatic, but I bring mine up really high and if you don't like how orange it is, you could always tone it down with a lighter color. But um, what I'm going to do next is take a black eyeshadow or eyeshadow <laughs> eyeliner pencil and this one is the Noor I believe it's called. I don't know. I got it in a birch box so I've never really heard of this brand besides having this. And this is the Long Wear Eyeliner Crayon. Ugh, it doesn't have a color. I think it's just called Forever Nor. I don't really know, but this is what it looks like. It's just a ba basic um, eyeliner. And what I'm going to do is um, carefully line my upper lash line. You could do it however thick you want, obviously. I'm going to... Hmm, I think in the picture mine was pretty thin, so I'm just going to thinly line this. And it doesn't really have to be that perfect because we're going to smudge it out. So, yeah. So I just line that and then so next I'm going to tight line my eye and fill in my waterline with the same um, eyeliner. This is hard to do with without looking in a mirror or having my mirror. Um, in front. So I basically just finished up by um, applying the orange underneath my eye and blending it out. And the next step would be just mascara, but I already have that on because like I said, I filmed this tutorial with makeup already on. And I think in the picture I might have had false eyelashes on, but I don't really want to pop those on just for this right now. But that's basically it and I hope it was useful.
to the person that requested it and whoever else. So, thanks.